Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm so happy you stopped by today. Um, so we're at the end of the month. So today I'm gonna show you my favorites for February, 2021. So it's been a month of staying home under um, lockdown. Stores did reopen the past couple of weeks and stuff, but we have a curfew, we have to be back. Uh, no one on the road, everyone back home uh, by eight o'clock, uh, between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. The exception of those who, you know, need to be out for work, they have a document to let them be on the road or, you know, people outside walking their dogs, for example. Um, but you still have a limitation of the radius where you can be. So basically all that to say, it's been a month of staying home, um, still staying home. <laughs> so, uh, but it's the middle of winter, it's kind of depressing. So it's been a lot of like cocooning and just feeling cozy at home and, um, and a lot of that. So yeah, I've been working, <laughs> I've had school, it's been a lot, but in terms of my favorites for the month of February, it's been yeah a lot of like just coziness. So um, really being with my hubby, um, playing board games, for example. So our go-to is this one, Les Aventuriers de Rai, or in English, I think it's called Ticket to Ride. And it's so much fun because you have like a map like that. We have the one of America, North America. So you have Canada and the US and you draw destination cards and um, and then you have to like accumulate color cards to be able to place your trains on certain tracks um, to be able to get to your destination quicker so you can get points and then pick other destination cards, you know? It's so much fun. And you can play many people, but you can also play just two. So Phil and I spend a lot of evenings when, I mean, we are big TV people. Like we really do like to watch different, um, you know, shows like Good Doctor. And um, right now we're watching uh, on Prime Anger Management. I had never watched that, but I'm quite enjoying it. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I love to watch documentaries on Netflix, but we really like to spend evenings playing board games. It just changes the routine a little bit and it's just nice to be away from the screen, especially that we're both, you know, working in front of computers all day. Um, it's really nice to cut the screen time. Um, speaking of Netflix, something I've really, really enjoyed in February uh, was the movie Isn't It Romantic? I had never seen this movie. It's two years old um, with Rebel Wilson. Um, I love her and it's it's really funny. I love it. I'm not usually a rom-com kind of girl, but I that's definitely one of my absolute favorite rom romantic comedy movies. I highly recommend it. And then um, in terms of February favorites, Look how beautiful this is. I found this at Winners. It's this beautiful um, mouth blown the glass and it has a candle inside. So I just thought it was so pretty. And my idea is to start making candles to kind of like refill that when it's done. Um, so I've been looking a lot on how to make candles and I'm starting to see what I need to order. Um, and that's what I want to do because, you know, buying candles, I'm a big candle person. I can tell you that not only February, <laughs> a lot of the past few months, I go through candles. It's crazy. I burn candles all day long, every day. Um, I just, it brings me so much peace. And especially when I'm doing yoga. I burn a lot of candles during yoga. I love to have a really nice environment for that kind of, that, that moment that I'm giving myself. So um, that's why I want to learn to, to make candles, to not always being like 
repurchasing, but if I can be refilling these glass jars I have, why not? Um, and with my essential oils, I'll be able to, you know, make them the odor I want. So I don't think there's much to lose. So yes, definitely part of my February favorites has been yoga. It's been so nice to get back into that routine and just find that balance again. You know, like during Vlogmas, I had started to journal and just falling back into my waking up early, doing my workouts with Beachbody, um, get my day done. I'm so much more productive after my work, my, my workout. It's amazing. And then being disciplined, not finishing late because I have a yoga class and after work and it, I want time to like, you know, change and breathe and just get into the headspace before the class. It's great. It's been finding my, my yoga again. And that just that balance that I've lost the past few months has been a huge favorite for February. Um, another February favorite guys, I discovered this. You guys know how much I love the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This Maybelline Sky High Mascara is wonderful, wonderful, um, and cheaper, right? It's drugstore mascara, but it is so good. It is so good. Um, I've already bought myself a backup for when this is done. It's really, really good. I mean, look, look at my lashes. It It's the same... I feel like it's the same brush. I feel like it's I feel like it's pretty much the same formula as my Bad Gal Bang, but for half the price. Um, really recommend you guys try this. And it doesn't like a lot of drugstore mascaras. I don't like them because they kind of like uh, they flake throughout the day. This one doesn't. This one really really holds. Um, it's really really good. I I'm raving about this. I love it so much. Um, another favorite, my nail polish color, this Sally Henson Pure, and this one is in color 230, oof, I don't know if I can get it with the light here, um, sorry, but it's color 230 pink cardamom, and I love it so much, this, this nail polish, and I'm, I've, I used the top coat with it and as you can see I've used it quite a bit because I have a few colors of this collection of nail polishes but I love it they're so good they really really hold um, they're beautiful and my obsession for this month is definitely this color I'm I love this color I think it's going to be my go-to color for spring summer or at least spring summer I might go for like a brighter color but I love this I love it so much um, so I found that early this month. Meteorites. I had never used meteorites before. I had never used anything Guerlain before. And I am obsessed with these Pearl Glow meteorites. I mean, look, I'm wearing, I'm, I have it on. It just gives me this airbrushed yet really ethereal, um, angelic glow from within, from within. And that's what they look like. I really, really want to get my, my hands on the pink ones, but they're sold out everywhere. And I'm, I really hope that they're not really going to be a limited edition. I really do hope that Guerlain does decide to keep them because I'm only hearing amazing things about the pink ones for a blush and these I would love if they came back because I just love how glowy they are versus their regular meteorites a definite favorite and I love the scent like they send they, they smell like violets but it's it's strong but it's something so um I feel like it's such a vintage scent that it's something like it's very comforting <laughs> I think I'm old enough to be able to say that. <laughs> it's, it's a comforting scent. Um, I don't know what it's bringing back memories of, but it's it definitely brings back some positive. Um, and so I've really been enjoying this lip gloss by Guerlain. Look how pretty it is. 
and this is color it's called the kiss kiss liquid and it's l303 and it's just so pretty i really really love it and it has a really nice it has such that it has that nice floral scent definitely and it just looks so pretty it's such a beautiful color and it's really um it's like my it's like the perfect lip gloss formula for me like for sure it's not one to wear under a mask it's not a mask proof lip gloss but it's very very um it's not sticky at all but it holds it really holds i'm not like reapplying it like 50 times a day your lips are still super slippery but it's almost like a a really good hydrating balm like you feel it kind of penetrate your lips it's it's amazing gloss i really, really love it um obsession lemon cookies these gluten-free lemon wafer cookies yum what happened was for valentine's day i baked cookies for my colleagues i made these um heart-shaped shortbreads I made a raspberry coulis, so I, I boiled my raspberries to make like this raspberry juice that I folded into, and I removed all the seeds, and then I folded it into um, a coconut whipped cream. And then I put that inside two of the heart-shaped shortbread cookies, so it made like a heart sandwich. And then I dipped that into dark chocolate and put like Valentine's colors sprinkles on top. And so I made little bags for each of my colleagues with a few cookies in each. And then a colleague of mine helped me and we delivered them to each of my colleagues in the in our, our HR team. And when I did one of the deliveries, my colleague gave me a can of different good goodies. She also um, has celiac disease, so she also eats gluten-free. And they were so yummy and in there she had like gluten-free pretzels that she dipped into chocolate and peanut butter and it was just there was different kinds of there was peanut butter cookies with hershey kisses on it which are yummy i love those we always make those at christmas and she had these lemon wafer cookies that she had dipped into white chocolate on the tips i had never eaten these because I don't know, like wafer cookies weren't necessarily drawing my attention. Um, I think it was too many memories of like my grandfather. We had wafer cookies at my grandfather's house when I was really little. And um, I loved these so much. <laughs> I was like, what are these cookies? What are these lemon cookies? I was like, oh, they're just the gluten no uh, <laughs> lemon wafer cookies. I keep buying these now. <laughs> These are my drug. I love them. Um, I, I just have this major lemon obsession. <laughs> it's crazy. My mom made me a lemon cake. And ever since, I'm like, lemon anything. Like, that is my... I, I love cinnamon. I would normally choose cinnamon over anything. But I'm telling you, this month, it's been lemon over anything. So, yum. Um... The other favorite to have, second to last favorite, have been these James um, face masks. Uh, I've been really, again, into self-care, taking that cocooning time, take time for myself, so nice bubble baths with some candles and using these masks. My sis One of my sisters gave me this for Christmas and I will try to find them and link them below because I love them and these will definitely be a repurchase when I'm done. Uh, they feel amazing. My skin is glowing. It is so, so hydrated after. It's wonderful. I love it. Um, again, speaking about, you know, Christmas gifts, my leopard slippers that I got for Christmas from another of my sisters. Um, I love them, they're perfect because you're not too hot, not too cold. And being home all the time, I have been living in these um, and leopard. I love leopards. So 
definitely, definitely in my February favorites. And last but not least, how can I have a February favorites without mentioning my amazing Valentine's Day gift, my Hermes Click H bracelet. Um, I'm not wearing it today because I'm going to be doing some housework and some baking today, but I'm obsessed. I love it so much. Plus it has like definitely a sentimental value to me. Um, so I, I love it. It's so comfortable. Um, I'm, I, I stopped, I'm, I was wearing it like a day or two during work and now I'm not going to wear it during work just because like, I don't want it to bang every time I'm moving my mouse, you know? Um, but you know, anytime I'm not going to be working like on the weekends, going out, you know, running errands, whatever, um, it's going to be on my wrist. I think it goes with everything. I just don't want to wear it, you know, while I'm working or doing housework and that kind of stuff. So there you go. Those are my favorites for this month. I would love to know what your favorites are. I would love to know if you have any, um, anything you would like to recommend. But yeah, my month has been all about cocooning and just being cozy and some good time with my hubby and um, playing around with beauty and just a whole bunch of stuff, right? <laughs> so on that note, I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you guys really, really soon.